And when you're spreading your seed, you don't want to lay it too thick, but you also don't want to lay it too thin either. And that right there is money. If you have got bare spots in your lawn and you're looking for a simple way to take care of that, you're in the right place. I'm gonna show you right now two really simple and easy ways to get those filled in. Last step, I'm gonna take something like peat moss or compost or maybe a light topsoil, and we're just gonna put a light layer over top of this here. And all that's gonna do, it's gonna help hold the moisture in here so that our seed can get moisture and germinate and then grow and be happy, healthy, and we are off to the races. So once I have those steps complete on my bare spot here, what I'm gonna do, fill up my sprayer, add the sanctuary to it. This stuff is awesome. If you have not tried this yet, I am super pleased with the results I've gotten from this. Um, basically, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, but it's got beneficial microbes in there, wetting agent, it's just got a lot of good stuff. Basically, super juice on steroids, if you're familiar with that, way better. But I'm gonna add this to my tank. I'm going to spray my bare spots, just a light coating. <laughs> weeks later here we are first two weeks we had way too cold weather not good weather for growing grass seed down in the 30s most of the nights um, and then it really didn't get above 50 or so but we got a lot of rain which is good in the last week we have had 70s and now this week we're in the 80s and this grass has popped so here is the spot where we seeded the grass and as you can see it is coming in nice and thick right there and so this grass right here will continue to grow and as it continues to get water and then we chop it off and mow it it'll thicken up and it'll tiller out and this will all be filled in and pretty soon you won't even be able to tell that we seeded this spot right here so now i want to show you a second option of what you can do here that makes it way easier if you have something that spreads like kentucky bluegrass bermuda grass any other grass type that spreads this right here is definitely the option for you all right, so this right here is the Pro Plugger. Super well built, honestly the most underrated, underutilized, and honestly underpriced. This thing is a steal for how well this thing's built. You buy one, treat it right, you'll never have to buy another one again. What you wanna do if you have a bare spot like this and you've got a spreading type grass, Kentucky bluegrass, Bermuda, St. Augustine, some of the spreading rye grasses, you're just gonna take the Pro Plugger right here in the center Step down on it, pull a plug out, just like so. Take a good plug of thick, healthy grass and take this nice plug, put it right in that hole and wham, bam, there you go. This stuff will fill in. You don't really have to do anything special with it other than maybe put some fertilizer down on it. Same stuff I put down on the grass seed and uh, just continue to mow and water this like normal and pretty soon these spots will fill in. So that's it, those are the steps. Those are the steps you follow and that is how you get results. And you see the results. So no complaining that you didn't see the results and that those steps work. That's all we've got. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. We'll see you next time. also leave a link to my lawn care guide. If you are looking for something to walk you step by step through the lawn care season, showing you exactly what to apply, when to apply, so you can have the best lawn possible, check that out down there. Thank you guys. We'll see you next time.